A Yellowstone New Warning expert admits we are due as ground swells around supervolcano. A swelling around Yellowstone supervolcano is also swelling around Mount St. Helens. That's bulging at five meters, just about five yards every day. This is what it was doing in Mount St. Helens in 1980 before it blew. This is on the newest on Yellowstone supervolcano. It's due to erupt at any time soon. Concerned scientist claims during his mini documentary. This is on Express UK by Callum Hoare. And the scientist is Dr. Michio Kaku. In his interview explains Yellowstone volcano located in Yellowstone National Park has erupted three times in history, 2.1 million years ago, 1.2 million years ago, and about 640,000 years ago. It's considered to be dangerous. It's on the ring of fire, and it's very close to the very dangerous supervolcano, the Long Valley Caldera, which is in California. Scientists previously revealed that should an earthquake occur, it could take less than two weeks before a catastrophic reaction event occurs with potential to wipe out three quarters of the United States with volcanic ash, toxic gases, etc. Now experts are afraid that another eruption could be just around the corner. Michio Kaku, professor of theoretical physics, City College of New York, claimed another big blow is now overdue. He was speaking during the mini documentary Yellowstone Supervolcano Will Destroy America, and he made that shocking claim. He said, we are overdue. Forget Yogi Bear, forget Old Faithful. It's sitting on top of a sleeping giant. If you are sleeping next to a 800-pound gorilla, you monitor every burp and every snore, he says. And when it blows, it could destroy the United States as we know it. Dr. Kaku revealed the ground where the volcano is situated has swollen 10 inches in just the past year. He says, this tells us there is activity in the supervolcano, which erupts roughly every 600,000 years. And the last eruption was 640,000 years ago, and that is why we are very nervous. The cycle time corresponds to now, so every tremor, burp, or murmur has to be watched very carefully. The last eruption at Yellowstone produced around 2,500 times more volcanic material than the 1980 eruption of Mount St. Helens. 2,500 more times. Jacob Lowenstern, a researcher of the U.S. Geological Survey in Vancouver, Washington, previously detailed how the last catastrophic incident may have played. He said, typically when these eruptions begin, they begin from a certain event, then they get larger as they move along the fracture system. The entire sequence that formed the last Yellowstone eruption may have taken as little as two weeks. This created an eruption, eruptive column so colossal that it covered about 60% of the United States in a thick layer of ash. Should the same happen now, the ground around Yellowstone National Park would rise, upwards forming a swarm of earthquakes, then following the eruption, enormous pyroclastic flows would blast their way across the park, and this mixture of ash, lava, and superheated gas, exceeding temperatures of 1,000 degrees Celsius, can move at speeds of up to 300 miles per hour. They're predicted to spread more than 100 times, 100 miles out from Yellowstone, burying states like Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, and Colorado, in three feet of life-extinguishing volcanic ash. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, 
most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.